Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I will discuss about bus bar protection for two main bus system uh, where the two main bus is connected by a bus coupler and how the bias current and differential current is calculated for bus bar protection relay. So a simple arrangement has been shown for two main bus system which is connected by a bus coupler breaker. So main bus one and main bus two is connected by a bus coupler. So in the main bus one, incomer one and outgoing feeder one is connected. And in the main bus two, incomer two and outgoing feeder two is connected. These two main bus is connected by a bus coupler breaker. So these are the CT arrangement for incomer and outgoing feeder and bus coupler. Okay. So in the bus coupler breaker, there are two CTs in each side. One is main bus one side and one is main bus two side. So there are two zones of bus, bus bar protection relay. One is zone A and another is zone B or zone 2. So zone A or zone 1 is formats. Formation is done uh, via outgoing feeder 1 CT, incomer 1 CT and the CT which is connected towards the main bus two side of the bus coupler bay. So this is the zone A. If fault occur within this zone, then this three breaker will be tripped and the fault will be cleared. Okay. Now this is the formation of the zone B or zone 2. Zone 2 or zone B formation is done via CT which is connected for income of 2 outgoing feeder 2 and the CT which is connected towards the main bus 1 side of the bus coupler bay. So this is the zone 2 or zone B. If fault occur within this zone, then breaker, uh, incomer 2 breaker, outgoing feeder 2 breaker and bus coupler breaker will be tripped and the fault will be cleared. Again, if fault occur within this zone, that is the, uh, this, this point or this point, then zone A and zone 2 both will be tripped. Okay. So this is the simple formation of the bus bar protection for two main bus system, which is connected by a bus coupler breaker. So in case of numerical relay, apart from zone A and zone B, in order to give a trip signal to the circuit breaker to the respective zone, there is another check zone formation is done, which is combined with the incoming and outgoing feeder only. So in case of check zone, the sum of the this income at one and income at two and outgoing feeder one and in outgoing feeder two shall be zero in normal condition in case of fault condition some of this four ct current is not zero so in case of fault in within any zone the check zone current and bus bar zone a or zone b current shall not be zero So here the different current has been shown for the bus bar relay for two main bus system. So here the value of the current for incomer 1 and incomer 2 is I2 and I3. And outgoing feeder 1 and outgoing feeder 2 is I1 and I4. Since I4 is greater than I3, the rest of the current will be flow from the main bus 1 towards the main bus 2. Here the I5 and I6 is same. That is I5 is equal to I6. Okay. I6 is equal to I4 minus I3. So I differential A is equal to vector sum of I1, that is the outgoing feeder 1, I2, that is the incomer 1, and I6, that is the CT which is connected towards the main bus 2 side. So these are the per unit value of the current. How the per unit value of the current is calculated? I will discuss by one example and bias current bias current is the scalar sum of this three per unit current that is i1 plus i2 plus i6 similarly the for zone b i differential b is equal to vector sum of i3 that is the per unit current of income at 2 i4 that is the per unit value of the current of the outgoing feeder 2 and i5 that is the per unit value of the current CT current which is connected towards the main bus one side. So 
and I bias current uh, for the zone B is equal to scalar sum of these three current that is I3 plus I4 plus I5. Now uh, the I differential check zone uh, for check zone I differential check is equal to sum of all the current which is flowing towards and outside the bus. So here uh, the parent value of the I1, I1 is the parent value of the outgoing feeder 1. I2 the per unit current for the incomer 1 and I3 the per unit current for the incomer 2 and I4 is the per unit current for outgoing feeder 2. These are the vector sum and bias current for check zone is equal to scalar sum of this four current. Uh, now let us take simple example where the CT ratio for each outgoing and incoming feeder is 800 by 1 and bus coupler. Uh, bus coupler CT in the CT ratio is 1600 by 1. The per unit current is calculated uh, based on the CT ratio, um, based on the actual current divided by maximum CT ratio, which is connected uh, of any bus. In case of bus coupler CT, the maximum CT ratio is 600 by 1. So, here the base value has been considered as 600, 1600. Okay, most of the numerical relay. Uh, consider the highest CT ratio as the base value. So, in case of income R1, uh, let us consider that uh, 400 ampere current is flowing towards the main bus 1 by income R1 and 400 ampere current is flowing towards the main bus 2 via income R2. That is the value of the I2 and I3 is 400 ampere. And outgoing feeder 1 uh, current value is that is I1 is equal to 300 ampere and I4 that is the outgoing feeder to current is equal to 500 ampere. So rest of 100 ampere current is flowing from main bus 1 towards the main bus 2 via uh, to, to, towards the outgoing feeder 2. Okay. So value of the I5 is equal to I6 equal to 100 ampere. So we can calculate the value of per unit value that is I1. I1 is equal to per unit value of the income or uh, outgoing feeder 1 which is equal to 300. 300 divided by base value here the base value is the highest CT ratio which is equal to 1600 by 1. So here the I1 comes as 300 divided by 1600 which is equal to 0.1875 per unit. Again uh, the uh, per unit value of the current for income at 1 and income at 2 is same that is I2 and I3 is equal to 400 divided by high CT ratio or base value. Uh, that is 1600 is equal to 0.25 per unit. Again, uh, for the bus coupler CT, the per unit value of I5 and I6 is same, which comes as 100 divided by 1600, which comes as 0 0.0625 per unit. Again, for outgoing feeder 2, the per unit current is I4, which is equal to 500 divided by 1600, which is equal to 0 0.3125 per unit. So all the power unit current uh, has been calculated. Now we can calculate the value of the differential current and bias current for each zone and check zone. Now for zone A, I differential A is equal to I2 minus I1 minus I6. So here I2 is equal to 0.25, I1 is equal to 0.1875 and I6, I6 is equal to 0 0.0625 which comes as 0. And I bias current for zone A equal to scalar sum of I2 plus I1 plus I6, which is equal to 0 0.25 plus 0 0.1875 plus 0 0.0625, which comes as 0 0.5 per unit. Similarly, we can calculate uh, the value of the differential current and bias current for zone B. I differential B equal to I3 plus I6, I3 plus I6 is going towards the main bus 2, sorry, it will be I3 plus I5 minus I4, okay, it will be I3 plus I5 minus I4, although the value of the I5 and I6 is same, so I3 equal to 0.25 plus I5 which is 0 0.0625 minus 0.3125 which is the value of the I4. So, which is again 0 for 
differential current for zone B in terms of power unit value. And bias current is the scalar sum of these three current, which is equal to 0.25 plus 0 0.0625 plus 0.3125. So which comes as 0.625 per unit. Now I differential current for check zone equal to I2 plus I3, which is flowing towards the bus 1 and bus 2 minus I1 minus I4, which is flowing outside the main bus 1 and main bus 2. So which comes as 0.25 plus 0.25 minus 0.1875 minus 0.3125, which is equal to 0. And I bias current for check zone is equal to scalar sum of these four current, which is equal to 0.25 plus 0.25 plus 0.875 plus 0.3125, which comes as 1 per unit. So this is how the bias current and differential current is calculated for bus bar protection relay.